Good morning you lot, um, it's Monday today. Um, James slept through his alarm so we've been running around all morning. He was like, oh my god, his phone didn't turn on the plug so it died. <laughs> um, today I've got a meeting with my accountant this morning which I'm dreading. <laughs> and then um, one of my oldest friends Lucy is coming up from Oxford to take me out for the day for a belated birthday. She had horrific morning sickness around my birthday so I've not been able to see her. Um, because she's pregnant obviously. Uh, so yeah, I've known Lucy for about six years now. Um, I say all these friends, but like I met her six years ago whilst we were both doing the same physio job and she was like my mentor because she was, um, she's been doing it a lot longer than me. Oh, and she's like amazing, I absolutely adore her, I really miss, miss having her close by. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. And so we've got a table booked for a really nice lunch and just some shopping, some good shopping. So I'll catch up with you. Um, so I'm all ready to go meet Lucy now. Feeling very tired this morning, but what's new? I hope you're all okay. It's this changing weather, I think. It's a bit gross, isn't it? Um, so I've just got a woolly jumper on because I can't stand being cold. Um, it's quite an old one from Philip K, but I'm sure I could link a similar one. It's just really fluffy. It's got really long arms, which I like to be nice and snug. Tucked it in at the front. And then shocking news, I've got the weekday voyage um, jeans on that are really straight leg and boyish. And then I've popped my Stella McCartney um, snaky loafers on because they're really comfy um, and it just gives the outfit a little bit of a lift because obviously it's just basically black knitwear and jeans. <laughs> so that's not the most innovative you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> my hair's well flat as well, but I'm having it done on Friday, thank God. So I'll have blonde refresh and a cut off. It needs a good inch off, I reckon. But anyway, I'll catch up with you later. Um, it's well run, it's just so windy. It's a horrible day. I went to meet Luce, accountant was fine, um, not nearly as bad as I thought, which is great. I'm so bad at maths, it's unbelievable. This coming from a girl who did a GCSE maths five times, twice at college. Oh. Do you want to go to the plage with me? I'm going down, down, down there for in the morning. Most morning, you lot. It's Tuesday and I hope you're all okay. Uh, I've got a couple of really nice meetings this morning to catch up with people uh, and then I've got some appointments and I'll just be working from home later on. Bit of a non, bit of a non, uh, non exciting day to be fair, but um, we'll kind of catch up with you later and I'll tell you what I'm wearing because I'm just on this blazer. Actually, the rest of our week's really exciting, so you just go to bear with me, aren't you? similar to the one that I wear all the time um, and the other one I absolutely love is this organic pearl and that's on um, yellow gold and then just a really gorgeous pearl oh, so yeah I'm just making a little list. Um, I've had a really nice day um, it's just been really nice and yeah not that much has happened but I've had a really clumsy day like really bad I don't even know in fact I was gonna say I don't know where to begin but I'll tell you what I'll show you absolute joke Honestly, this is my life on a daily basis. <laughs> I've just dropped all of my clean knives and forks into the mop and bucket. <laughs> They're all poking through there. There's my holder, lovely. Everything everywhere. Oh my God. Literally. <sighs> it is Wednesday today and I am on my way to ASOS. Um, we're doing a Facebook Live, so I'm a bit nervous, but I'm excited. We're talking about trend, about transitional dressing. 
Um, yeah, I've just got to remember not to swear, I think. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. It should be good. I'm wearing all new season ASOS as well, so I will link everything because um, I'm doing a brand new in video for transitional dressing after this vlog, actually. So you'll have to wait. But it's well worth it, I promise. But really, why I've come to tell you what I'm doing is because I'm waiting for this spot to dry up so I can cover it with makeup because I didn't leave it alone and now we've got a mess on my face as usual and I needed to set off five minutes ago <laughs> so yeah living my teenage life at the age of 30 and um, I hope you're all okay um, and have had are, are having a really nice Wednesday and yeah I'll pop back in later and show you bits and bobs from what we're doing and things like that and hopefully it'll be interesting and good for you to watch guys we are just here's Lottie Hi. we're just getting ready to start our Facebook live you guys are all here um, I think we all need a wee before we start this, but yeah, it's going to be good. Nervous wee. Nervous wee. We've just finished our Facebook Live with ASOS and we're in this amazing suite in the Nobu Hotel in Shoreditch and it's just ridiculous. Like, look, look at that sink. And then you shower and all this business is just absolutely mental. But it went really well. Um, yeah, it'll be on the Facebook page of ASOS anyway, so you can catch it on repeat. I'm back from ASOS and it was really fun. I was a bit nervous, uh, but it all went really well. Um, we just talked. I mean, you can still see it now. I can link it. Um, it'll be there forever now. Um, about 50 minutes, which flew by. And we just talked trend and transitional stuff, how to rewear items that you were obsessed with last season or last winter or whatever, um, and keep it in your wardrobe. Uh, so it's a good saving money tactic too. Um, I came home to a few comments on my denim collection video um, about the music being too loud and a bit distracting so I can completely understand that. I'm just not a team of people and I'm just learning every single time I do something it takes me bloody hours <laughs> but I'm really enjoying it so your feedback is so helpful and constructive so I'm just um, literally sat here now just taking it down popping it back up just taking the music off uh, uh, from behind the bits where I'm talking because it's all a bit much but I was like oh I'll make it fancy and put some background music in and I was so proud of myself but it didn't work so never mind, never mind. Um, so yeah that's about it for today I'm just going to go shopping to Sainsbury's I think get a couple of bits for me and James uh, and then we'll have a cooking night we he'll cook and I'll watch in the kitchen and I'll make him cups of tea while he does it and then I'll wash up uh, and then we've got telly to catch up on from last night. We've been watching Dr. Foster, which is amazing, obviously. I hope you're all watching it because it's so good. It's on BBC One. Uh, not working for the BBC, just absolutely love it. Um, yeah, so that's me this afternoon. And then tomorrow I've got a really good day. I'm really excited, but I'll take you with me and tell you all about it tomorrow. Um, uh, yes, and also, what else? Things that I've had on today, not showing you because they're coming in a big new in transitional haul video, which I'm working on at the moment, so I can't wait for you to see it. But you're gonna have to wait if you wanna know where my blazer's from and my cashmere jumper. So yeah, I will. I think I already told you this before anyway, so it's not like it's a secret. I just want you to wait, because it's all gonna come out at once. But um, if you must know, I will, I will tell you. <laughs> But it's Thursday and I'm just off into town for a bit of a breakfast meeting and we've got James working at home today which is lovely um, and so we're staying at a hotel tonight too which is good um, we're going to the artist residence in London um, ahead of London Fashion Week for a dinner so that's really nice I've been able to bring James so he can come for the dinner and the sleepover um, so yes I'll show you more about that as we go along um, after I've been to my breakfast meeting this morning it's with Nas um, I'm going to go to weekday and do my outfitters and do a bit of shopping for my next video. Um, I hope you've all had a lovely day, I had a good breakfast this morning and then pop to Urban Outfitters and weekday to get a bit of um, a wardrobe update which I can't wait to show you because they've got some absolutely class stuff in. I've had such a meltdown this afternoon as well. I've had a really effort little funny infection for a few days and it's been making me feel really sick. I've had different antibiotics and nothing's working. Long story short, this one I'm covered in mascara. So I was like, I'm so frustrated. I was like to James, he's like, can you just breathe for a minute? I was like, like, 
I haven't sobbed like that in years. I just got myself in such a mess. I'm sure I'm not the only one that this happens to, but that's why I look so disgustingly bad. God, it is bad, isn't it? So well, sorry. Um, so anyway, on a much nicer note, we are going to the Artist Residence Hotel in London tonight for a pre-London Fashion Week dinner with um, some of our friends and uh, yeah, we're gonna have a sleepover, but we're gonna go now, it's like four o'clock. Could check in at three. So we're just gonna go and chill. I'm literally gonna rock up like this and just take full advantage of the bath because I don't even fit in ours. Um, put a face mask on, make myself feel really nice before we go down for dinner because I think they might throw me out if I, <laughs> if I arrive at dinner looking like this. So um, yeah, uh, just one of those things I think, just one of those days. My mum can sense it a mile off as well because she's like, um, right, back to the doctors or um, right, you need to go home and lie down right now because I was in top shop. I was like, mum, I think I'm going to faint. What the hell is she going to do? She's stop or like, really? <laughs> Pull yourself together, Lindsay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm fine now. I just feel much better. So I probably just needed a meltdown. But anyway, I will speak to you later. We just checked in to the artist residence hotel in London which is so cool and just dead cozy like literally a little home away from home James has made himself at home <laughs> um, I came into the room to this amazing little package of pre-London fashion week chill uh, Desmond and Dempsey have sent me some gorgeous a nightshirt I think it is actually yeah nightshirt their stuff's really beautiful um, and Kiss the Moon have sent, what's this? Oh, it's all blurred. Uh, they've sent some bath, bath time salts and some after dark balm for um, helping you sleep, which will be good for me. <laughs> um, a coffee table book and some Prosecco, which I can't drink, but we can another time. And then I also was very kindly sent this new cocktail mixer bag by Sophie Hume and I absolutely love it. It's really cool, so I'm going to wear this to dinner tonight. Um, yeah, so I suppose I better have a nap and get out of my pyjamas, hey James? Absolutely, darling. <laughs> oh, um, so we're at the Artist Residence Hotel in um, London. <laughs> I forgot where I was for a second. Uh, the light is awful in here, but I thought I'd catch you up. Um, James is ready, we're ready, I'm gonna go downstairs. I think the meal's not till nine, it's like half eight now. I've just got a little grey t-shirt on with some um, split like silky trousers and some heels. Can't even see, but um, I was also just given this Sophie Hume bag, like I showed you before, so I'm taking this down too. It's really sweet, doesn't fit my phone hey in guys, there. Um, so I've just woken up in the Artist Residence Hotel. I've got this lovely little note to say um, a few gifts from our new favourite brands to help kickstart London Fashion Week and this amazing breakfast, so me and James are all over this. <laughs> Morning, James. Um, I've just gotten myself ready and just gonna go downstairs and meet Lucy for a quick coffee before I start my day. Um, today, I'm going to Diane von Furstenberg to be dressed for Fashion Week because today, Fashion Week starts. Um, I'm ducking out of it, to be honest, um, for today and Saturday. I'm gonna do a pretty full day on Sunday. Um, and then I've got other things going on Monday, Tuesday. Because I've not been feeling the best, it's about really listening to your body and being like, do you know what? I can't probably keep up with it this season. So I'm just gonna take a step back and do a Sunday with the girls um, and yeah. And so it'll be really lovely. Um, so yeah, I'm going to DVF this morning and then, what am I doing? Oh, then I've got to pick up a Mini Cooper. I'm working with Minnie on something, so we're going on a little mini adventure of this thing called Keys to Freedom. So we just get the car for a little while and just go exploring in the UK. So we're going to go to Suffolk uh, for this weekend. That's why I'm not here for Saturday's Fashion Week. Going to go with James, see the family, go to Alborough Beach, get some fish and chips, do stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and then... Then what, then what? Oh, I'm having my hair done, which is why I've got this hat on. Well, the other reason why I've got this hat on is because I've been desperate for a Baker Boy cap, and um, this is the only one that fits, because I've got the smallest head in the world. Like, it's not a thing I've ever really realised that, uh, that it's me. Um, but yeah, I've ordered maybe about eight in my lifetime. All one size, one size does not fit all, let me tell you. So anyway, this one's got a little bit of elastication on the back, so it's like, still a bit baggy maybe. I really like this one. Still a bit baggy, um, but it's like the best fitting one that I can find, so I'm just going to roll with it anyway. Uh, it's from Urban Outfitters, so I'll put the link on if you do like it. Um, what else I was going to say to you? 
I'll show you what I'm wearing later, but again, this is all for my new in video that you will see shortly after this vlog. Um, but this top is from Weekday. Um, it's just a really nice, easy, slouchy, yellowy stripe. And then I've got, you know, the jeans I keep going on about, the Weekday ones, the Voyage in blue that I wear nearly every single day, which is disgusting. Well, I went back and got them in black. <laughs> so I've just got those on with some um, Converse, so yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to today. It's going to be really nice. I'm feeling a bit better this morning. I'm much less sorry for myself. So I'll take you along and I hope you're all okay. Um, I hope you're all okay and you're having a gorgeous Friday today. Friday. I completely forgot to take you into um, DVF with me. Um, I've got an amazing coat. I need to show it to you. Part of the reason I forgot was because oh, this coat looks so much bigger than it actually is. I'll have to show it. You stood up later. Um, uh, I don't even know if I should be... Do I need to say things like this on your vlog? I don't know, but I'm going to say anyway. I've been in hospital afternoon because I've got, like, gynecological problems, <laughs> abdominal problems, something's going on, it's been for a few weeks. Anyway, the good news is I've had, like, all of the scans and tests in the world and I can't find anything, which is amazing, but also I'm still in quite a lot of pain, so I've got codeine and all that business, so anyway it's fine i feel looked after but i just also am very frustrated because i don't know what it is um which you know when you feel poorly you just want to know what it is so it can be sorted but unfortunately nobody seems to know at the moment so that's really annoying so i'm trying not to let it ruin my weekend because i really just want to have a really nice weekend and at the moment i just feel absolutely done in like i feel like i'm running empty I don't know if it's this time of year or whatever, but yeah, I've like, whatever. Anyway, this is not my usual happy kind of... <sighs> anyway, I'm sure tomorrow I'll feel much better. I'm just... James is coming home in a minute. We're going to have a takeaway tonight. And then, um, yeah, just chill out. Just put the heating on. Bloody heating. It's bloody September. Um, so, yeah, I think it's pretty much kiboshed my London Fashion Week plans. Um... Which is okay, I'll, be, I'll have a little bit of like sadness to me missing out and seeing my friends and the girls and stuff, but ultimately, I suppose, like getting better is my main priority, so I think I just need to like, have a bit of a rest this weekend. Um, but I have got an exciting project with Minnie to do this weekend, so um, I'll take you along for that, and we're going to go to Suffolk, we're going to go to Walbury to the beach. Can't remember if I told you this actually earlier, I probably did, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, so I'll just catch up with you later, I think. No, tomorrow. So I'm just going to stuff my face and get into my pyjamas, my new silky ones. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, have a lovely evening. Good morning, guys. Um, it's Saturday morning today and I'm ready. I... I'm just going to meet Francis, um, who took my pictures for the Nike stuff that I showed you the week. Um, and we're going to go and shoot the mini and also we're going to shoot some amazing jewellery that I've been sent um, it's a project a collaboration with Penel Coyden who is a Danish um, jeweller and the stuff like I don't know if you can see because it doesn't really focus but oh it's so beautiful and so me so we're going to do that as well when I'm there um, and then me and James are off to Suffolk to see his family so I'm really excited feeling absolutely knackered but did I felt like I slept a bit better um, just very glad that it's the weekend and the pressure's off a bit I'm trying not to look at any fashion week stuff because I'm getting a bit of FOMO, but I'm sure it's fine. Um, yeah, so I'll show you everything that I'm wearing um, when I get back later. Um, or do I make you wait for the new in video? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen? Um, but I'm like in really enjoying this teddy bear coat. It's from weekday. It's navy blue. It's like quite long. Um, it's so, it's so good. We have to size down in weekday because it's very, very big very very oversized and there's only so much oversized a person can take <laughs> um so yeah so that's today so i like it cracking really better go and sit in this mini and figure out how to flipping drive the thing it's got no key just start and stop that shows how long ago i bought my own car oh hi so uh, me and james have come to old breath for the day as i was saying before i literally don't know why i've told you i'm going what i'm doing or anything i can't remember what i've speak to you about before but my oh, yeah <laughs> but anyway hey james Hello! <laughs> so it was such a nice drive down in that mini. I feel very spoiled indeed. Um, we just had a coffee and a cake. We're just going to go and have a walk on the sea from. It bucketed it down all the way here, so we were like, great idea. Let's go to the beach when it's uh, raining. But yeah, no, it's really pretty. It's really dull. <laughs> ah.
morning you lot. Um, me and James are off to have a little bit of breakfast in Notting Hill this morning. Um, but we're rushing because our food shop's coming at 11 o'clock and it's like quarter to ten. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling a little bit better today. I had a really nice day yesterday in Ipswich and Albright in the car. I saw James's family which was lovely. So yeah, I'm just taking it really easy today. We're supposed to obviously go to quite a few shows today and I just like, I just can't. <laughs> I'm just stunning. Um, so I'm really looking forward to being at home with James all day um, after our breakfast outing. So yeah, I think it's going to be a bit of a, a relaxed one and not anything of note. So um, I will probably catch up with you tomorrow now unless something very exciting happens. <laughs> Just move the cushion out of the way, James. I don't fancy the cushion in the shop. <laughs> what are you up to? Just Sunday watching afternoon. the Sunday football. How many matches have we got to watch today? Only the two. Just two? And the Grand Prix. And the how? Oh, and the Grand Prix. Um, um, what's your favourite thing about the Grand Prix? The cars. <laughs> and what noise do they make? <laughs> right, I'm going to sign off for Sunday for this week now. Um, we're having a very relaxed Sunday. Like, I think it's our favourite thing to do. The heating's on, the football's on. And yeah. Uh, what more could you want? What more could you want from a Sunday, possibly? Um, but yes, anyway, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.